Remember to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. I was watching this underrated anime called Mono no Katari, and this one scene happened towards the end of season 2. It was so good that I had to text my homie that this show was solid, and then I knew I had to make a video on it. Major spoilers for seasons 1 and 2 ahead, story surgeon signing in. I know no one has watched this, so I have to give a lot of context. Hyoma and Botan are the two main characters, and have formed a strong bond that is becoming romantic. Hyoma, the guy, has vowed to protect Botan, the girl, who has a god called the Maribito inside of her. Because of this, many bad guy weapons are after her, wanting to unleash it. Botan also has six bodyguards that are like her family, but they were captured towards the middle of season 2 by these umbrella weapons. For context, at least one of these umbrellas were hyped up as the final antagonist due to their strength. Before this scene happened, a mini war was happening between the good guys and the bad guys. The bad guys are so good that they've whittled down the heroes to two fighters, Hyoma and Tsubaki, an elite fighter. But the duo was going up against seven also elite opponents at once, the four umbrella weapons and the three traitor weapons. So they're getting washed while trying to protect Botan, the girl with the god inside. The heroes are losing physically. This pressure and the manipulation from the villain causes the Maribito to take over the girl's body. The villains see Botan as an object to be used and they're about to get their wish. The heroes are losing philosophically. This character is so powerful that all the weapons start bowing down to her like she has Conqueror's Hockey. The villains wanted to try and control the Maribito, but she said, I'll listen to no one, after sending one of them to the lobby because his arm couldn't regenerate. So the first thing I really like about this scene is how they reverse a bad situation. The main characters are really losing the fight. Many battle stories would have the main character get a boost in power to save the day, but this story decided to fire Chekhov's gun and make it a give and take. The Maribito was set up since the first episode, and it bailed out the heroes here, but the cost is that the character isn't on their side, is unpredictable, and has possessed one of their allies. There's a benefit, but it comes at a cost. Now, the heroes are losing emotionally. So before the scene I'm about to analyze, the heroes were losing physically, emotionally, and philosophically. Then, the scene. Yoma takes advantage of the strong bond he and Botan have built up over the seasons and releases a high-level talk no jutsu. He tells the Maribito to give Botan back because she isn't alone anymore and has people waiting for her. Botan starts taking back control. The heroes are winning emotionally. Botan turns back to normal, showing that she isn't a tool, she's a person. The heroes are winning philosophically. Then he switches his words towards the six bodyguards and criticizes their inability to protect her and tells them to pull up. As the villains try to kill him, the six bodyguards start teaming up to use a team attack to break out of the prison and save the heroes with one of the cleanest team lineups. In case you forgot, they were captured by the Umbrella guys before the war and the Umbrella squad were half of the seven enemies. Then the six start moonwalking on the villains. The heroes are winning physically. If you've watched Michael Arndt's video on endings or Tyler Mori's How to Write a Great Ending, which you should, you see the brilliance that just happened here. There were three stakes, physical or external, emotional or internal, and philosophical. The heroes were losing in all of these stakes right before the climax. But the climax had a sudden reversal of all three stakes. It went from all hope being lost to the heroes winning, despair to elation. This climax technique is like the atom bomb of storytelling. If a story drops this move, the scene instantly becomes one of the best moments. Furthermore, the story relies on proper setups and payoffs to pull this off. There are no deus ex machinas. The Maribito was foreshadowed. The six being captured by umbrellas was set up, as was Yoma and Botan's strong relationship. The story also uses good balancing. The Maribito could have easily taken over and just saved the day, but then the emotional and philosophical losses and reversals wouldn't have existed. Instead, the Maribito does help out, but it comes at an emotional and philosophical cost. Balance. This allows Yoma and the six bridal trussos to reverse the three stakes back to back to back creating an amazing climax. In conclusion, Monogatari crafted an amazing scene by using the proven method of writing a climax by suddenly reversing the physical, emotional, and philosophical stakes in quick succession from despair to elation, paying off its setups well, and balancing out certain aspects by having negatives come with positives. Story Surgeon signing out. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.